How you doing guys? This is MMP Fan 94 and today as you can see I will be doing my second Transformers uh, review. Now as you can see today will be my first Decepticon review and this little guy here is my favourite Decepticon. He is Megatron's second in command and he's called Soundwave and he would spy on the Autobots and they would transform into a set tape and he would go and spy on the Autobots and sit in their units and stuff and sort of, sort of, um, you know, they would uh, spy on them. And then of course he takes tapes. So these two guys here, this is Buzzsaw. And that is Ravage. Ravage is a dog. And um, Buzzsaw is a, is a bird. Now there's two birds, there's Laserbeak and there's Buzzsaw. But I have Buzzsaw. When I got them, it said Laserbeak on eBay, but it's Buzzsaw, so. Laserbeak, the difference is, Laserbeak's gold, and uh, Laserbeak is red, and Buzzsaw is gold. So, I'm just going to take you, I'm just going to take you through how to transform the three of them, and then transform them back. So, I ho hope you enjoy the review, guys, and enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and, uh, Hit the notification bell. Let's get started, shall we? So, this is Soundwave. I'll just give you a close up. Right, I love, I, this is my favourite Transformer. Absolutely love the guy, Soundwave. They tried to, rec they tried to recreate him in the live action uh, uh, Michael Bay Transformers. And, okay, the second one, he was a uh, space station, which I kind of forgive. But in the third movie with a car, which I was like, eh, wrong, nope, never, never, nope, never. And, you know, Michael plays a dick because he completely ruined the Transformers. Anyway, let's get back to G1. So, so to transform Soundwave into his cassette mode, actually, i tell you what I'll do. I will... And so I just went and transformed Soundwave into his uh, cassette tape um, off screen, so... I will show you how to transform him into his robot mode and then I will transform him back into the cassette tape. So you take these two bits here and you flip them down, turn like that, and then you twist them and push them up. You hear that click, make sure you get that clicking noise. And then if you look behind, fold the arms out. You give them a good tug and then Squeeze them in like that, and then his head will be in there, and you just flip it out and turn it. And then there's wee bits down here, so you just there's feet. Oh yes, and there's wee things here, and you just push them down. And that gives you his fists. So that is Soundwave's transformation. Now some transformers can be a real pain in the butt to transform. But I th I find Soundwave is pretty easy to transform. You just then you just move his arms. And there, Soundwave. He kind of talks like a robot. He's kind of like, yes, Megatron. You know, he's like a robot and he's like, he's, he's a mixture between a robot and like a sort of electric kind of sound. So he'll like, Megatron will say, him, uh, he'll go, yes, my liege, deploy Ravage, deploy Laser Beak. He kind of sounds like a robot with electric on the voice. Now, I apologise if that was a bad uh, impression of it. So, I'll now move on to uh, Buzzsaw, which is one of the cassette tapes. So I will transform him into the cassette tape here. So you basically, you take off his guns and you put them away for later and then you put the head in. Like that and then take the legs, hold these wee bits in. Like that and then you just, and there's the first cassette tape. Then you take Ravage, who is pretty freaking sweet. Really looks special, like lovely. He's got two uh, rockets. You just 
take them off. Put them to the side as well. Now the, fold, now the transformer arm is in this tape. You fold his head over, you fold his tail, and you take the legs and you you put this bit in first. Hold on. Sorry, you yeah, do that bit there. Yeah, it's very fidgety and fingery. It's like fidgety, fidgety, and sorry, you have to do a lot of twisty bits with your fingers. So there's the two cassette tapes. So there's um there's a metal button on sound wave. Now mine doesn't really work too well. You hit it and it comes out. And whenever you transform sound wave into his robot mode, yeah, it goes with his shoulder cannon. And there's a tiny wee hole there in the shoulder and it just goes into that. And I don't know what one to put in. Either Ravage, Ravage's tape is really nice. I like Ravage's tape. Um, I'm not particularly too keen on uh, on Buzzsaw's tape. But I like I like Buzzsaw's tape because it looks better when you put it in the sound wave. So you just put that in there and you fold it in. And I'll just give you a close up of what that looks like. So. And then sound wave will fight like this. And then if Megatron... If the, if the Autobots are uh, trying to stop the Decepticons, again, soon we will go deploy Ravage, deploy Laser Beak. It should open. Again, mine doesn't really work that well. And then, of course, Laser Beak will come out on a buzzsaw. So I could call it Laser Beak, but buzzsaw and Laser Beak are basically the same, the same generic transformer. It's just one's gold and one's... Um, One's gold and one's red. And then, right, before I transform my uh, sound wave back into the cassette, I'm going to show you how to transform the tapes back. So I'll start with a buzzsaw. So you take, his, you take his head out, like that. And then, take, take these two bits here and flip them out so they're like that. Then you just pull the wings out. Reattach. Reattach the guns. And there you have laser beak, laser beak and buzz saw. It's the same basic model. And they fly about and spy on the Autobots and they're really vicious like. Really, really vicious. So just and then laser buzz saw and laser beak would I'm gonna try and do this without without and uh, without and moving. This is really difficult to do. Um Kind of done it there, but uh, laser beak and buzzsaw would sit in sound waves arm or shoulder whenever they're coming back to report on what the Autobots are doing. So put him to, put him to one side. The Ravage is really, really easy. Each one of these Transformers has a rub symbol. Now, in my Optimus Prime video, I forgot to say about the rub symbol. The Optimus Prime rub symbol is on the top of this cab. So I'll try and do this here to catch it. So you give it, you just give it a nice wee rub. And it should appear. The Decepticon logo should appear. I don't know how that's come out in the camera, but right to transform Ravage, you just you just fold the hair out, and the tail and the legs just come out the guard there. Now they do have ex extra sort of movement, but they doesn't really stand too well, so I just keep them together. All right, you take the rockets, so I can't get the rockets. Now go into the back cassette hole, like that, and like that, and there you have Ravage, who is the most vicious of Soundwave's tapes. Uh, Soundwave's tapes, you've got Rumble, you've got Rumble, you've got Ravage, you've got Laserbeak, you've, you've got Buzzsaw, and I can't think if there's any other cassette tapes, but there probably is, but... Uh, that's that's for me and cassette tapes. Right, the transform sound wave back into. You take your shoulder panel off. You put it away. You fold the head. You twist the head and fold it back in. You move the arms down. You move the fist back up. It's 
spray flitter yes, right? You move them, move them up, like back, and the fists are in. So you move the arms back till you hear a click. And then you put the feet back up again. Twist these. Pull them out. Squeeze that together. And there you have sound wave and that, that, that's a battery that goes in the back. I would show you but I've put a couple of one piece and two piece into the back of sound wave. Because my sound wave for some reason is very, it sort of leans over to the front a bit. So I put one piece and two piece into the battery slot just to weigh it, just to weigh it a bit when it's standing. So I'll just give you a good look at the cassette when in cassette mode. I mean that is a lovely transformer. It even has workable moving buttons and volume button and you have the play button and the rewind button. So it, it is my favourite transformer. It's it's absolutely class. I mean if you're going to start a transformers collection, G1 transformers, definitely get a sound wave. Because this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's I'm so glad to get it. I got a eBay for about about thirty quid. It's not the best of conditions, so it's not. But it's just worth it, and you need to get these guys with it too. These guys are important. Otherwise, Sony has nothing to do. They haven't got the tape characters. So, um, well, that concludes my review of uh, uh, G One Transformers Decepticon Sony. So, I hope you enjoyed the. Um, the review guys um again subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to update you on my latest videos so um have a nice day now have a nice um have a nice day guys and i'll see you around